I'm here again. Same type of problems. Giga Newton. Giga Newton. Where is Giga? 10 to the? 10 to the? 10 to the? 10 to the? Yeah, right. you're going to answer to me. Yeah, I heard it. 10 to the 9. Okay, 10 to the 9 Newton. Multiply by micro, micrometers. Micro, 10 to the negative 6 meters. 10 to the third. 10 to the negative 6. That means 10 to the third Newton meters. Now, once again, I just said in the previous video that the prefixes are better better seen applied to the distances than to the forces, but in this case, it's better seen applied to the force than to the distance because kilonewton is a kilonewton meter is a more coherent unit than newton kilometer. So follow the follow the form. Follow what makes sense. Follow what sounds better. That's what you have to follow, basically. So that will be kilonewton per meter. But keep in mind that some crazy people can say also newton kilometer, even though that doesn't. That's not a very common unit that you can use in any engineering realm because Newton per kilometer is a very, 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 very small amount of moment, extremely small amount of moment. But kilonewton per meter is a more usable unit in this case. Now, next one, kilogram micrometer. So kilogram. Uh, is 10 to the third, right? Let's put it there and then we'll see what happens. 10 to the third micrometer is 10 to the negative 6 meter. No prefixes here. That's what I'm looking for. I already eliminated them. I pass this to the top. 10 to the third, 10 to the 6 grams per meter, 10 to the 6, 10 to the 3, 10 to the 9 grams per meter and this is just a giga gram per meter and that will be the answer this one wow kilosecond square kilosecond square kilosecond square that's a weird that's a weird thing really 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 weird Thing. So let's try to do that. Newton is in the top. I don't do anything there. Now, kilosecond squared. Kilosecond. What is a kilo? 10 to the third, right? But because the units are squared, the prefix is also squared. So basically, it will be 10 to the third second. That will be a kilosecond squared. And this is no other thing than Newton divided by 10 to the 6 second square. Now, this 10 to the 6 in the denominator, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't work because I don't need anything in the denominator. So I pass it to the top, 10 to the negative 6 Newton per second square. And 10 to the negative 6 is micro. So that will be micro newton second square. Yeah, and this is one of the things that uh, this is the this is the thing that students get confused all the time. They forget to square the prefixes when the units are square. So keep that in mind, please. D kilo newton microsecond well same procedure same old same old same difference 10 to the third newton divided by microsecond 10 to the negative six second i'm getting tired of doing this let me tell you i'm doing this for you and only for you 10 to the third 10 to the six newton second this is 10 to the nine these two and 10 to the nine is giga Giga Newton per second. Perfect. Uh, there was a Venezuelan 
uh, journalist, uh, I'm sorry, there was no, there is, I'm really killing the guy that he has a problem and every time he has a show and every time that he finishes say, otra llamada más, it's like another call when I'm going to say the same thing, otro problema más, another problem, see you later.